Well, new tonight, a new age way to recycle your cell phones is meant to be good for the environment and a good way for you to make a little money. But some worry that the real winners could be the thieves. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears looks into some controversial new machines. Take a look at this photo, not the woman in the foreground, the machine in the background with a stack of cell phones sitting on top. I had gone to Walmart and saw this man putting a lot of phones into a machine. Heather Youngson was on high alert the August day she took this photo. Her daughter's iPhone was one of many that had been stolen days before at Wet n Wild. Heather reported the stolen phone to police but knew there was little chance of getting it back. Then she saw this and wondered whether these machines were inviting crimes like the one Becca and her friends fell victim to. I was in shock. Because I was like, how easy is this? Please tap the type of device you'd like to sell. There are 16 eco ATM machines in the Vegas area, all located just inside the front door of either a Walmart or Smith's grocery store. They were designed to be an easy, eco-friendly way to reduce electronic waste. It could be recycled altogether. We could find um, new use for the parts. Um, and but I think first and foremost, it's ensuring it doesn't end up in landfills. They've only been in Vegas for two and a half years, and that's after the machines were banned in Baltimore and in Riverside, California, after backlash from law enforcement. It's a great, convenient thing for a, a legitimate consumer, but it really invites crime. I mean, it, it's an easy, quick way for bad guys to make money. Is your system bulletproof? Well, I don't think any system out there just to that end is bulletproof, but what I will tell you is we're very on top of every transaction. The company tells us that these machines are one of the worst places a thief can come to try to unload a stolen phone, and that's because of the security measures that they have in place. Camera here, taking your picture. You also have to put in a driver's license and leave a thumbprint. Starting? We put the process to the test. Get started selling my device. Immediately, a safety warning pops up. Telling us about the two-step ID check process to make sure everything is safe. It offers $4 for an old iPod Touch. When we try an iPhone 6 Plus. It's giving me an estimate of $25 to $50 for this type of phone. But check this out. iPhone 11, this is already on here? 60 days after any new device is released, Eco ATM is ready to receive. But with the manufacturers releasing devices at such a rapid pace, we see consumers as soon as getting the new one within a few months trading them in. Retired Metro Detective Phil Ramos says that's an even bigger temptation for criminals. You know, you could be at a store, you know, a big box store or something like that, snatch somebody's phone and before they even react to it or even get a chance to call the police, you can dump it in there and you're gone with, you know, 50, 60, 100 dollars or whatever it is. That's exactly what happened to Carol Riggs in North Carolina. Her iPad was stolen at a grocery store in 2015. Find My iPhone tracked the device to an armored truck in a Walmart parking lot. When she confronted the driver. He said, we go to recycle machines. He said they're called Echo ATM machines. So every transaction that is um, conducted at a kiosk across the country is um, kept in a database um, that is available to local law enforcement across the country. And with help from local police, Carol got her iPad back. Eco ATM, which is based in San Diego, says stolen devices account for less than 1% of what they take in across the country. But I quickly found multiple cases of fraud with their machines, like the 17-year-old Georgia girl who police say used a stolen ID to cash in 26 stolen phones. But she was caught and, with Eco ATM's help, successfully prosecuted. Here in Nevada... We've collected over 90,000 devices, and of those 90,000, only 100 were linked to uh, stolen devices. Metro could not tell us what happened with those devices. Eco ATM says it's constantly evolving its processes and security measures. But I think the important thing to remember is that we have live agents monitoring every transaction. To bolster safety and dissuade crime. Remember Heather's photo and the elbow, leg and shoe of the man off to the left who brought all the phones? We were able to flag this man as being suspicious. Although Eco ATM says none of the devices he sold belonged to Heather's daughter. So it seems that many of those devices were in fact um, fake devices. 
That August day, the man sold 13 devices to this kiosk at Walmart on Charleston and Decatur. Only four of them were real phones. Eco ATM says the same man sold a fake phone to a kiosk in June, and in his history, he sold them eight real phones. We often see people come in who trade in more than one device. Eco ATM did not contact police because they say none of the phones were reported stolen, and he was only trying to defraud the company with dumb devices, but he's now been blacklisted so he can no longer sell at their kiosks. For more on how to track stolen devices and what to do if your phone or tablet is stolen, go to KTNV.com and click on this story. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.